Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at this problem called Has22. And what it does is it inspects a list and it looks for a situation where we have two adjacent twos. So if we take a look at this first example, we see we have a two next to a two, and we return true. And in the other two examples, even though we have two twos, there's no, there isn't a case where the twos are adjacent to each other. So again, with all these types of problems, I think one of the things I'm always thinking about is what is the technique this algorithm is trying to get at? And what it's trying to get at here is, I think, is, is do I have to inspect all elements to make a decision? So this is a really important thing to think about when you're developing an algorithm. In this case, as soon as I find two adjacent twos, I can return true and I'm done. I don't have to look at every element. However, in order to return false, I must look at every element in the list. And this is kind of something that, that comes up a lot of the times when you're thinking about algorithm development, is can I exit as soon as I find what I'm looking for, or do I have to look at everything? So really simple solution for i in range. We're going to look at every element, 0, comma, length of nums. And all we're going to do is inspect the two adjacent elements. So I'm using this i variable to kind of keep track of a location. And then I'm just going to take one step past it. So I'm going to check if nums at i is equivalent to 2 and nums at i plus 1 is equivalent to 2. So for example here, just add a comment, if i is equal to, if i is, is 0, then we're going to be checking, this is like saying, nums nums at 0 is equivalent to 2 and nums at 0 plus 1 which is equal to nums at 1 is equivalent to 2 and if I find two twos next to each other I just I return true otherwise I go outside my loop when I'm done my loop I return false now if I run this I'm going to get a very specific error and what this is, is called a list out of range. And you kind of see this error as well when you're working with strings and you're trying to pull out individual elements using the same notation, is that if you try and access an element that doesn't exist, you get, you get an index out of bounds error. And the reason this is coming up is because my loop is looking at every single element in my list. So if we just, let's just take this one up here, copy this, we'll paste this down here. So the indexes for this one are 0, 1, 2. And so currently my loop's gonna loop, my loop is gonna run from 0 to 0 to 2. Does that make sense? So because inside the loop I'm looking at i and i plus 1, is this last situation that I run into a problem because I'm gonna check index at nums at 2 and nums at 3, but there is no nums at 3, and that's why I'm getting an index at a range. To solve this problem, I have to change the range of my loop. So because I'm always looking at i and then i plus 1, I'm going to subtract 1 from the end of the loop. And if I hit go, there we go. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a wonderful day.